First game of the weekend, Manchester City against Newcastle. Arsenal's win on Thursday night, on, on Wednesday night, sorry, uh, means that City are now five points off Arsenal in the title race. Newcastle coming off that Carabao Cup final loss. Do you make City the favourites at home here? Yeah, City would have been the favourites if, if Newcastle would have won. Um, City at home, favourites. Every team that goes there has to adapt their style, so... Yeah, they're always going to be favourites at home. I'm, I'm probably always going to be favourites in every game they play in. That doesn't guarantee them a win. But I, I think there were signs of Newcastle form at the time changing a little bit before the final. I, I think there was a kind of, not a distraction, because it's it's a well-earned distraction, if that's what you're going to call it, but a kind of focus maybe, a little like two weeks before uh, the final was coming. There was questions about the final, which I didn't really see at, at, for Man United. I seen it was a focus on the next game where it was of oh, thinking two weeks ahead for Newcastle. And I don't mean it personally to, to Newcastle, the players or the management. It was more the questions directed at them. It was like their focus is the final. Now that's over and, and with a defeat, it's always, you can always dwell on a defeat a lot longer, regardless on in any game, in any status of game or in a final, it's always a little bit longer. So it's... It's, it's a good game to have for Newcastle because, yeah, they have to be at their best to get anything at City and they've proven that early in the season at home. But on the flip side, it could be, um, if you're not at your best, you could get punished. I'm going to say 3-1 Man City. It's Chelsea against Leeds on Saturday at 3pm. Chelsea, a lot has been made about their struggles. Leeds are fighting for their life. They're out of the relegation zone after beating Southampton last week. Could they get a result at Stamford Bridge? They could, but I, I, I don't see... A sh- it could be two huge games for Leeds that... I don't know how many times I got back-to-back wins either, so I'm going to say Chelsea win this 2-1. And it's Arsenal against Bournemouth. Arsenal look back on track, really, after three straight wins in the Premier League. Bournemouth continuing to struggle. Do you see a fourth straight win for Arsenal here? Yeah, I do. Um... Arsenal, yeah, as you said, they, they look to be back to to their best, especially against Everton. Um, Villa game was was flashes, but deservedly win won the game. I'm gonna say Arsenal three 0 And then we've got Villa against Palace. Two relatively balanced teams here. It's eleven against twelve. Neither team in real danger. Um, obviously, Villa getting back to winning ways at Everton last week. They're at home on Saturday. Does that make them slight favourites? I would say that, but I, I still believe Palace are comfortable away from home. Palace is probably the only team that, um, and, and similar to City, but in a totally different scale. I think their styles of play, the ground or where they're playing, doesn't determine their style of play. I think they approach the game in the same with the same mentality and the same focus and, and kind of tactical approach. So I, I would say it's pretty even. So I'm going to say draw. I'm going to go... 1-1. One, one. Uh, and then we've got Brighton hosting West Ham. Brighton in a pretty healthy position still. West Ham got a really important win last week against Forest. Looks quite a tight tight affair on paper. Yeah, it does. Um, and again, I just think there's a an innocence away Brighton play and approach to games that is making them really exciting to watch and, and hard to beat because they believe they can they can win. Um, so I'm going to go Brighton with this. I'm going to go 2-0. And then we've got Wolves hosting Tottenham. Tottenham were, you know, putting together some good league form, but then obviously a difficult night last night getting sent out of the FA Cup by Sheffield United. Quite a tricky game going to Wolves. Yeah, yeah because of the style. I, 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 I don't see Tottenham performing the best in these games against teams that they're suspected to dominate and dictate play to. I think that's when the Spurs are not at their best. I think even the, the the Chelsea game, they won the game deservedly so. But if you look, it's Chelsea kind of dictated the play. Um, and that's kind of what Spurs look comfortable doing. And it shows and it's highlighted against good teams because it's accepted a little bit more where obviously when it's a lesser team that you're expected to beat, Obviously, that's where the frustration comes in. But I'm going to go, I'm going to say 1-1. One, one. 
And then we've got Southampton against Leicester. Both teams shock defeats in the FA Cup against teams in the in the Championship and League Two. Um, obviously, Leicester's form, Premier League form, is is slightly better than Southampton's, who are in a bit of trouble at the moment. Do you think that's another defeat for Southampton? Uh yeah. If, I, if I'm picking a winner, um, which I, I believe Leicester do win, I'm going to go with Leicester. Um, I've seen, especially against United for Leicester, I've seen signs of them showing that they can compete. It's just putting that package together for a longer period of time. But if they do that to, to Southampton, I think they come away with goals. So I'm going to go Leicester 2 0. A bit of a relegation clash again. Nottingham Forest against Everton. Everton obviously slipping back into danger last week. Uh, Nottingham Forest, four points clear of danger, but not, not out of trouble by any stretch of the imagination. Everton without an away win since October as well. Can they can they end that run here? Potentially, potentially end it. Uh, uh, again, I think it was early in the season when City beat Forest six 0 maybe, and then they play that, and you just know it's going to be tight. You're not going to go there and be expensive. You're not going to just assume he was unlucky, and I think that's what the case after the back of last week's performance and result. So I think they'll be hard to beat or set up to be hard to beat and then go from there where if that's the case that doesn't bode well for Everton because Everton aren't a team that's creating a, a magnitude of chances um, I think they want to play a team that's on the front foot so they can be resilient and then counter attack so I'm going to go nil nil and then the big one this weekend uh, Liverpool hosting Manchester United United heading to Anfield on a high can they secure another win against their rivals or is this Liverpool's? I don't remember the last time United go to Anfield and are favourites. Probably not in this era since all post Alex Ferguson era. So I would say, yeah, but I'm still going to go with Liverpool. Probably more heart, but I still see Liverpool scoring two goals and with Marcus Rashid, you can't bet against him. So I'm going to go 2-1 Liverpool. And then the final one of the weekend is Brentford against Fulham. Two surprise European contenders, both in the top half. Fulham also yeah. in the FA Cup quarterfinals. Quite an interesting clash that on Monday night, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Yeah, again, it, it, in terms of the great respect and names of our teams, it's probably not as glamorous as, as people are, would um, perceived it to be but it's very exciting game two very good coaches very good teams exciting teams to play I mean to watch so yeah definitely a good game um, I'm going to go with Fulham I just feel this I said that this, the stuff around Brentford may may distract them a little bit but I don't think it's an easy game to predict so I'm going to go 2-1 Fulham 